Black Ops 6 just released and there's a new thing called Omni Movement. But you're probably wondering how in the world do I take advantage of all these new movement mechanics? I'm a seven time Call of Duty champion with over 10 plus years of pro player experience. And I'm gonna break down eight tips that can help you guys drastically improve in the new Black Ops 6 and have you guys moving and grooving around the map. The first thing that we're gonna do before we get into any of the tips is go ahead and go through all of the settings and make sure you guys have the right settings to help you guys master the Omni Movement. The first thing that you want to go ahead and do is go into sprint assist and turn on tactical sprint assist. If you guys aren't familiar with call of duties or this is your first call of duty, this will basically allow you guys to just push your left stick forward. And when you do so, you will go into a double sprint and reach maximum sprint speed instead of having to click in that left stick twice if you're playing on controller. This will allow you to move around the map a lot quicker as well as it be a lot more responsive when you're trying to slide cancel or dive. You won't have that clunky feature when you're trying to double click in your stick. Once you turn this setting on, you're going to want to go ahead and go to show more. Turn on your sprint assist delay to zero. This will literally completely eliminate the delay that there is while you're trying to sprint or when you push your stick forward and your character starts moving. It will get rid of that completely. Make sure your sprint assist sideways is on, sprint assist backward is on, and then mantle assist is off. Crouch assist off, corner slice. I personally like this on. It basically allows your character to kind of do a slight little tilt around the corner whenever you peek those corners when you're aimed in. Um, it does not affect your aim at all. It's just a, vis a visual um, view that's going to swap up on you, but I personally love it. One of the most important ones you're going to want to change is slide at slash dive at behavior. This is super important. You're going to want to put this on a hybrid. So you're going to want to go ahead and get used to hybrid change from day one. You'll be used to it in a couple days and you'll have no issues, but it's basically tap only to slide. So it gives you maximum slide speed and quickest response time there. And then tap while holding sprint input to dive. So that will allow you to do Take advantage of all the features with no delays, no problems, no nothing. Uh, automatic airborne mantle. We have on, sprint restore on, slide maintain sprint on, uh, parachute behaviors. On. These are some war zone settings here. Uh, but those are the main ones. You want to make sure you have hybrid on, like I said, the sprint aim assist delay or sprint assist delay to zero, and then the tactical sprint assist on. These are crucial and very, very important while you're trying to take full advantage of the new Omni movement. Now that you got the settings, let's go ahead and talk about a few tips that will help you drastically improve your game while you're playing S&D, playing hardpoint, playing pubs with friends, whatever it may be. So if you guys are just joining and starting to play Black Ops 6, you're probably wondering, where in the world's the knife? We, it shows up in our class setup that there's a melee, a tactical knife, but how do I take advantage of using that and using it to, you know, get around the map a lot quicker? But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold down melee, whatever that is for you. For me, it's circle, and it will actually pull out your knife. So if you're playing search and destroy, you're playing competitive hard point, and you're trying to get around the map as quick as possible, your knife is going to be your best friend. You're going to want to pull this thing out in the beginning of the rounds. Like I said, whether it's search and destroy to beat the guy top middle up here, or, you know, whether it's rushing to P1 on a hard point, it doesn't matter what it is. You're going to want to take advantage of this and start getting used to pulling it out instead of running with your gun. You're going to run a lot faster. You're going to beat your opponents to that point of the map. And, you know, a lot of people don't know about it yet. They see the knife. They, they don't understand how to get to it. They don't understand how to use it. You know, they're trying to figure it out. And I'm here to teach you, man. Hold whatever your melee is down. It will pull out that knife. And then you can use it to obviously get to specific parts of the map for the beginning rush routes. Uh, like I said, whether you're playing pubs or playing competitive, this will be your best friend. And you're going to want to use this. A lot of people aren't going to be doing it right away. And you're going to be able to beat them. Take advantage of it while you can for the kickoff tournaments or whatever it may be. You know to beat your friends or beat your opponents um to those power spots on the map another mechanic i want to teach you guys about is actually going to be shouldering and that's getting information and now that we can move forwards backwards left and right while sprinting shouldering gets a little more tricky usually shouldering can be right to left right like something like this to get information without standing here hard aim just standing here waiting to die right you can get that information right to left but now it, it creates a little bit more fun, right? So instead of just being able to get that information left to right, I can now dive left, I can dive right. So this is all gonna be getting information while playing the game. So, you know, if I'm starting, like I said, trying to figure out who is in this middle hallway, trying to locate where he is, I can dive left, I can shoulder left to right, just getting that information without standing there waiting to die. So if someone were to pull up on me, like I said, you know, I can do those movement mechanics to go ahead and get that information without actually dying. Or you can, you know, do something like this where you're kind of, you know, moving forward and then pulling back, moving forward, pulling back, or you can come out and you can dive backwards even. I mean, you can literally move in any which direction to get information, but just adding this little mechanic, getting quick shoulders when you're not ADS down sight will allow you to just get that information in a competitive game, whether it's a pub or a hard point and help you take full advantage of the map and getting, you know, 
that information on your opponent like i said to find out where they are and how you can take them down or you know get the jump on them in a gunfight so here if i were to do this like i said i would shoulder 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 or i could dive across um so that way i can take full advantage of getting that information without getting weak or taking a little bit of damage but let my teammates know where they are exactly on the map Another way for you to use Omni movement, and you know, you can use this in gunfights, but you can also use this to just maneuver and get behind cover is going to be the dive. Like I said, with Omni movement, now we can dive forwards, we can dive backwards, we can dive left, and we can dive right. Um, and you can even dive and shoot. Um, it's something that has never been in Call of Duty before, and this is a new feature that I'm still getting used to myself, trying to take advantage of. I don't think necessarily diving into gunfights is going to be a very... Um, powerful way to engage in your gunfights. It'll probably get you killed a lot, but you definitely want to get used and master the dive. Like I said, by turning on that hybrid setting, it allows you to take full advantage of it, having no delay, and just a way really to maneuver around the map, whether you're trying to get behind cover, if I were to be you know, trying to get behind this bar here, or trying to move it around the map where someone or somebody, you know, a teammate's holding a choke point or an enemy's holding a choke point. I'm trying to get somewhere. I can use this diving feature to my advantage. Like I said, whether it's diving forward, diving backwards, diving down a staircase for that matter. Um, you know, it's something that you're going to want to get used to. Like I said, in all directions, it's going to take time. I would run around in a private match, get used to, you know, the different ways that you can use it. I would not necessarily advise to use this in engaging gunfights. Obviously, there may be a time or two where you're mid-dive and you can shoot. So don't forget that. You know, you can get that information and you can shoot at the same time. If you were diving back and forth or diving forward, you can kill that guy, dive across, et cetera, et cetera, uh, while getting information and while shooting. So you could maybe do like, you know, if one of your teammates is doing a rush route, you could dive across, put some, you know, fire, some warning shots down, uh, then uh, you can cut back and stay alive. But you're definitely going to want to get used to uh, running around, like I said, in all different directions, adding that dive to your game. I promise you, like I said, whether it's getting information, getting pepper shots in, warning shots, or just really just, you know, moving around the map, um, you know, to get to advantageous positions, you're going to want to get used to doing that, get comfortable with your settings and uh, use it to your advantage in pubs or whether it's competitive play. Another great tip that you're going to want to add to your game is the good old snaking. This has been around for so long. And unfortunately, in this game, it is back. Snaking is one of the best, most broken mechanics in Call of Duty history for as long as I've known and played the game. Whether you're sitting on a head glitch or, you know, you're behind a bar heady, whatever it may be, you can do this good old thing called snaking. And what you're going to want to do is sprint forward, prone, pull back in your stick, sprint forward, do it over and go over just like this. And what this will allow you to do is get that information without getting weak. And that's what a lot of the movement mechanics that I'm going to teach you guys today are, is, you know, finding out where your opponents are without having to take a bunch of damage or just standing on this heady waiting to die or waiting to get sniped or waiting to get killed. You can snake like this and your opponent can't shoot you. They can't hit you with bullets. And it allows you to just pop up, kill them real quick, and continue to do the motion. So you're going to want to, again, go to a private match, get used to this movement mechanic, stand up, sprint, stand up, sprint, stand up, sprint, you know, just prone over and over and over, get used to this motion. And like I said, whether you're playing competitive games or whether, you know, you're playing your friends or playing public matches, I promise if you're on a high kill streak, you're going to want to start doing this. It will allow you to get so many free kills and people are going to be like, what in the world? I can't even see that guy. And until it's fixed, we might as well abuse it. Am I right? I didn't want to tell you guys this one this early, but there is a broken movement mechanic called pop-up glitching. And the way that you're going to do it is a little bit different than slide canceling. You're going to want to go ahead and slide into a prone. Once you get into that prone position, you're going to want to pull back on your left stick and start spamming jump. So it kind of looks like that. So you're basically, your character is going to look hilarious. You're going to slide and then pull up on spam jump as fast as you can and pull back on your left stick. And this will create a super broken pop-up mechanic where it's not going to allow you to die. It's going to look hilarious. I'm going to see if this bot will kill me and show you guys exactly what I mean. Um, come on, bot. Kill me. Come on, bot. Kill me. Let's see if it'll show you. That's not going to show me. This will create a super broken mechanic that's going to create like a little leapfrog uh, movement mechanic that's actually going to allow your opponents to miss on you. And you're going to want to add this to your game. It's something all the pro players and everyone was doing in the beta. They still haven't fully fixed it yet. And it's something that you're going to want to add to your game. Like I said, just to maneuver around the map. Um, it is it is extremely broken. Or whether you're just prone and you spam jump. It doesn't work as well out of that. But if you do this slide, it, there's like no delay. Uh, if you do it properly and you can pull back on your stick, uh, then it looks super broken and will catch your opponents off guard and allow you to get those free kills when you're coming around the corner. Something else that you need to know is slide canceling is basically gone, guys. There's no point to slide cancel in this game. You can if you want, 
but since you're allowed to shoot at the exact same time um, while you're sliding, slide canceling basically used to cancel the animation so you were allowed to shoot. But in Black Ops 6 with the new Omni movement, you're actually able to shoot while sliding. So instead of slide, slide, jump like most people used to do to cancel the slide animation, you really just only have to slide one time and you're basically in the slide cancel and it'll allow you to shoot and do the pop-up at the exact same time. The only way I cancel the slide now is when I slide and I want to get out of it, I just hit jump. That will cancel the animation and allow you to get out of it and start running instead of waiting for the whole thing to end. See how if I don't click jump, I just end in a slide. I'll just end in a slide like this. Whereas if I click jump, it'll allow me to just start rolling, start moving right away, which will create that fluent movement that you're looking for and allow you to just kind of get ready for that next engagement. You're really going to want to get rid of slide canceling. Like I said, just slide, jump, slide, jump, aim in at the same time. And this will allow you to just move around the map fluently. No need to do that cancel and break your sticks. You can start shooting while you're in the slide or while you're even sliding for that matter. Um, so there's no need to do that slide cancel anymore. Just make sure you master this mechanic. Go around on a private match, like I said, with everything I've taught you guys. Add it to your gameplay. Get comfortable. Get familiar with it. And uh, like I said, in no time, you'll be mastering the Omni movement. You can slide backwards. You can slide forwards. You can slide any which way. Um, don't overthink it, man. I don't think, you know, you necessarily need to be going for TikTok, you know, clips where you're sliding backwards, sliding forwards. It's still Call of Duty, right? But you can add these, you know, advantageous uh, movements to your advantage if you get comfortable and get used to them. But uh, I've done plenty fine without the Omni movement, and I've done really good getting used to the Omni movement. But just stuff, little points and tips and tricks that you can add to help you guys, uh, you know, get fully used to this and add it to your gameplay. The last tip I got for you guys today is going to be good old jump shotting, man. Jump shotting has been around in COD for as long as I can remember. And, you know, I use a Battle Beaver controller, so I have two buttons on the back that allow me to jump, aim in, slide, do all these things all at once with these two buttons on the back without ever having to take my finger off of the thumbstick. I know some of you probably play bumper jumper where you can do the same thing or stick and move. But the good old jump shot has always been a traditional one in COD. And like I said, it's still very, very good in this game. Um, you know, it's just learning to jump and aim at the exact same time. So when you're cutting a corner and whether, you know, it may be not sliding, but you're going to try and break your opponent's camera uh, with just sliding around the map or jumping around the map, that is. Uh, it's just a way to engage and win gunfights and, and catch them off guard, you know. Like I said, you can just jump corners, get that information and get their early jump on your opponent. Um, and it sounds very simple, but you'd be surprised how many people just prone or, you know, just hard aim around corners. Get used to jump shotting, man. Take take some time to learn it. Like I said, practice in a private match. Add it to your game so you can glide around the map and catch your opponent off guard. Don't be that easy kill walking around the corner. You know, catch them off guard with jumping. They're going to be not, you know, predicting exactly where you are because you're going to jump across their screen. It's going to throw them off guard. So add it to your gameplay. Like I said, spend time with everything that I've, you know, given you guys today. Run around in a private match. Play with friends. Get used to it so you guys can fully take advantage of the new Omni movement. They're allowing us to move every which way with all different types of tricks and uh, things that you can do. And these are just some of the things that I've noticed early on that have helped me in Black Ops 6. And uh, I hope it can help you guys and help you guys improve in your gameplay over this year. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like, and comment down below what other types of videos you guys would like to see. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.